Oh, well, welcome back my uh, gardening friends. Well, I've got me a new stick box. <laughs> Doubles up as a seat. Uh, how's that Lorraine? I've got myself a new seat out of a skip. Ideal. Well, the robin's tootling. Another really clear sky last night, out gritting, really cold again this morning and uh, we're now going to be looking at uh, the jobs uh, for March uh, on my allotment. Doesn't take long, I like to use a lot of cardboard at the beginning just to warm everything up, get a nice little bit of heat in the bottom and then the sticks tend to uh, get going really well. I only have a small journey up to the allotment, but uh, that cold wheelbarrow, and uh, when you get to the allotment, uh, the gloves are really cold as well. This is uh, really uh, welcoming. And as you can maybe hear, the robins pleased to see me. So I'll just finish off here, a little warm, and uh, we'll have a look at uh, what we're gonna be up to uh, in March on my allotment. And uh, as you can see, very, very frosty. That's why I'm always very cautious this time of the year before I start sowing too many seeds. We get uh, long range forecasts uh, for the weather, for gritting operations, and it's still no not looking very good. Spring will come. It's lovely when that sun's out, especially when it starts to uh, burn away the frost. I'm not sure whether you can see uh, the steam there. You can see that uh, bit of polycarbonate a little bit better now. This camera doesn't like uh, sunlight and uh, like we updated you before uh, all my cardboard's now stacked in here. We've got absolutely loads and loads of uh, compost that we haven't registered uh, on there so that's uh, 18,920 litres uh, in six years that I've been uh, an allotment here and then we've got all that compost down there and uh, some of this including those containers I'll empty those out on my first mix we'll put the big sheet down we'll get the material out of the compost bin uh, in batches we'll fetch the leaf mould and some of my homemade compost that was uh, been used and in the bin and we'll give it a good mix up and we'll add a few other little nicks and knacks. I haven't got no manure so I will be using uh, the uh, chicken, chicken uh, pellets etc that I've had given me. I haven't had to buy them. Uh, we always barter here. I've got something they want and they uh, kindly give me something. Uh, in this uh, one ton bag there's uh, last remains of some really good compost with the added perlite in. So I think all this and all that, any surplus is going to go in that manure bin. Uh, hopefully if the lockdown is lifted I'll be able to fill that manure bin up uh, ready for uh, 2020. 
22 so we'll get those jobs done all these uh, containers in here plus a few others have got to be filled there's the green straps to help support the fruit bushes in the fruit cage we'll show you shortly and I will need to get rid of the last of this uh, runoff bin that's quite productive under there if you haven't seen it let's give you a little look and it's uh, full again so all the juices out the compost bin drop into there I don't use it as a, a food I use it as an activator to uh, help compost the uh, wood chip paths and those wood chip paths in three years time can be used uh, on the beds my two fish just see them there survived uh, that cold and that thick ice but this uh, this pond goes all the way underneath and um, there's different layers so the first layer is a wet area for the frogs and then the rest is for all the uh, other wildlife that can make use of it so that's definitely worked uh, really well. Now the uh, the wicks have been soaking for a while. I've just got to convince Mrs. K they're okay to go in the washing machine. <laughs> I doubt that very much. The uh, rhubarb's uh, started to come up now. This weather won't hurt it, but I need to get either get these pallets sorted or get them stacked elsewhere and uh, decide what I'm doing with all this wood. I saved it for a reason. There's some big bits down there that'll probably do the staging behind the shed that we showed you on the end of February uh, tour. And I'll be creating a smaller version of this. Maybe not this month, but depends what time I get sometimes it's better to vary what you do don't get stuck on doing one thing the polytunnel needs doing but sometimes it's best just to go and off and do something else so there'll be something similar to this on a smaller scale to support uh, the currents the currents are the 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 ones that tend to uh, uh, get plenty of growth on and then they uh, get the weight and they block the paths so going to create something uh, very similar but not so high see if it'll help it just makes it awkward to get to uh, to the fruit and the frosts just burning off the tips of these new buds and always remember it isn't the initial frost that uh, kills plants it's when uh, it thaws that's why we use fleece a few days ago when we did the February tour these were looking lovely <laughs> oh dear oh well uh, that's uh, that's nature I may uh, chop these down towards the end of uh, March these are the field beans uh, green manure and uh, top it off with some of that uh, lovely compost that we've uh, found Hopefully during the month of uh, March we will be harvesting the uh, sprouting uh, broccoli. The f they've just started to form in the centre and in quite a few places uh, they're now throwing out the side shoots. This is my uh, first bed of carrots that we sowed at the end of February and then uh, at the end of March we'll uh, sow another lot of sweet candle here beginning of May middle of May we'll do this one uh, these are hopefully going to seed I've separated all my onions that are going to seed so hopefully they don't cr cr cross pollinate but there again I'm not fussed an onion is an onion and uh, I've got to remember which bed the carrots was in but I didn't have any fly damage along here so we'll move up there so that's that'll be the five or six beds of carrots uh, a month at a time hopefully uh, we can avoid the uh, willow aphid that uh, 
gives us the motley dwarf virus and I've got to consider making some Envirimesh cages. This might work in a fashion, but I've got to take them off once they've germinated, else they will cook uh, during the spring and summer warmer days. Uh, part one of the polytunnel build should be on the end screen if you want to have a little look at that. That was just a little talk through. Uh, there's quite a few people made some really good comments. Uh, I'm going to double skin it, so I've got some roofing laths to sit in there. That'll give me a gap between the outer skin and the inner skin. I've bought some blue piping. Yes, I've bought some piping. And uh, that will sit uh, inside and then I'll slide the polythene over. And uh, the more I think about it, I think the double skin will be permanent because the bottom half will all be in mesh anyway. And uh, these windows, they don't look like windows, but polycarbonate that we've had and it's really thick as well. So that'll give me some insulating values uh, over the winter months when I uh, try and grow stuff in here. So my next job will be to set the stones, these curb stones across here and uh, get that piece of wood across. Make sure we're all not so much square. Not, I don't do square, I don't do cutting. Uh, I'll just cut all the bits off that I need to do and then we'll put the screws underneath to lift it up uh, off the curb stones and uh, I'll probably be making a start on uh, that uh, today. I was asked whether I was going to fill these holes in and I keep thinking do I or don't I? Uh, if the mice and rats want to come in I want them to get in. I don't want them to start uh, gnawing through anything that uh, I've had to buy uh, we can deal with them once they're inside but if there's nothing inside for them to get at then hopefully uh, they won't uh, uh, bother me too much uh, I've also uh, recently uh, fed those with my nettle tea I forgot to do them when I did the uh, rest of the jobs uh, in, uh, in February I've been collecting wood uh, for a long time anticipating uh, the uh, polytunnel build and these will come in handy for all the bits of staging uh, I'm not sure about those but they're equal lengths you never know there's the bed laths and then I found some more of these which are the same as those so it's important that I do do a bit of a check keep all my wood together because some of the bits of wood that I've got are all similar lengths that we broke up from pallets or whatever. By the time there's wood chips in there and uh, a little paving slab or a block pavier, that'll be at uh, the right sort of height uh, to create a, a little bit of staging down here to put all my knickknacks and I might not have to throw, not throw it away, but some of the stuff I've collected over the years. And you see, at the back there, we've got all that wood. It's all stacked nicely, but out of view, same as those. So I don't want to get them out, but this now, we've got this all nice and dry. I might bring it all in here, stack it along here. Anything I don't do on the polytunnel build, uh, we can start creating something here and maybe some shelving, uh, a little bit of shelving a little bit further up. So if you make sure you read the comments but uh, what are you up to uh, in March I tend not to try and do uh, too much ah, he says too much but so in anyway uh, I might uh, start a few of the seeds that don't chip similar to beetroot uh, and chard those awkward looking seeds. Try not to uh, create too much smoke because we're not allowed bonfires uh, before 12. And as you probably gathered, it's, uh, it's uh, quite early in the morning. I'll get this going. Thank you. 
I do find uh, just chopping a bit of wood while uh, I'm waiting for the kettle to boil, especially when I find a piece of wood that uh, I can chop up uh, really small. Starter sticks. It's surprising how much uh, wood this does burn. But as I've said in the past, it's helped me slow down instead of coming up here just going for hell for leather. And we were talking about. Uh, making sure I've got enough wood. I've just got to remember not to burn it all. <laughs> so, Please join me in March uh, on the, uh, the jobs I've got to do. I'm hoping to uh, have as much done. At least get the frame put back on the, uh, the meter high frame I'm going to be building. And hopefully it'll have a skin on it and some sort of uh, protection throughout the summer uh, for those uh, tender plants. But uh, thanks for joining me. Happy gardening to you all. Don't forget, hit the like uh, or dislike uh, button for the interaction and uh, leave a comment. I, uh, I learn more from the comments on other channels and my channel than I do watching other people's videos and reading books. I don't do reading. I don't do writing. Predictive text helps me. I know what the word looks like, but trying to spell it is uh, another thing. Take care my friends, till next time, try for now. Cheers Nick. Good morning, Mr. Robin. No, you'll get to, too warm here. You stay where you are on the pole. Oh, you want some worms. Okay, mate.